I want to talk about your um, you know, the strengths you as a player. And I think it's fair to say, like, you were quite big size for a 5'8". Um, very good runner of the ball, break tackles, um, the way you competed. Uh, you know, they're obviously, you know, different strengths to JTs. And I guess that's another reason why you guys work so well. But talk to, you know, maybe some of the young guys, the young halves who might be listening now on the things that you would look for when you were attacking, you know, the defensive line. Like, you know, if you had a wide four or where the play the ball was, like what sort of things are you looking at? Is it a slow middle forward? Is it someone turns their shoulders out? Is it a quick ruck where you want to, you know, push up and, you know, follow the dummy half? What type of things were, were you looking for and, and your strengths in your game? Yeah, um, I always used to – I I mean, it's no huge secret. A lot are probably doing it anyway. But I used to like when the foreman was in the tackle – and he was either third man back or you got a front rower coming around to the short side. And as you said, I used to hold that right edge. When we were going really well, that was my, my job. And I'd just keep my eye out down there. And I actually remember playing the Sharks a lot. And I used to think Wade Graham, he, got, he always, he, he, likes, you know, he likes the physicality of the game. So he'd get in when he probably at times didn't have to. And he'd be slower back at times. So Jakey Granville was a hooker. He was quick. So I said, Jake, if I tell you, like when I'm... If I just say go, like go, Jorby, go, he'd show to the open side and burn the marker. Yeah. And then all I did was punch a hole off him. So, um, but this we is what I'm lo- saying before. Like, I know yeah, like, these you, are the things that I'm saying. It wasn't hard to plan against, I don't think. <laughs> but, like, it was simple. But when you, I don't know, we just didn't go away from what worked. I yeah. guess we, we knew that, um, you know, I knew that I'd trust a Jorby. I knew he was quick and I'd, he'd get past the marker and I'd just pick a hole and I said if you if the A turns in on you just hit me short if he holds out on me go and he scored plenty of tries and went through plenty of times um just doing that and I mean it's very simple but um (laughs) it helps you know having a forward if they can get a quicker play of the ball and and things like that but that's normally what I'd look for is I just base everything around what the four men was doing and I spoke before about like the the difficulty we had in preparing for you guys and I just remember like we were sitting in video and the coach at the time was saying to us look Michael Morgan out the back he's going so quick so quick and you know the ability to check and go for a half for people who understand what I'm talking about um you know the the half back to push off the the wide running forward and then get to the half out the back like you were going at lightning speed so that made it obviously very very difficult talk to me a bit about you know your tempo and you know going fast and going slow and you know the differences between I guess ta- attacking the try line where you might have to hold a bit more depth compared to I guess you know in the middle part of the p- field where you can go you know a lot quicker yeah well I used to like attacking further out for that reason and you you, you know what it's like you play against different defensive structures some are up and in and jam and some you know a bit more passive and rely on the half to check and release and when we had a team like that that's when I'd enjoy it because I wasn't worried about a <laughs> You know, a, a center or a winger just flying and taking my ribs out, uh, <laughs> big George DeFore or something like that. Yeah. But it did get me a couple of times doing it uh, because it, it, we did do the same thing, and but it worked and it, it was a strength of ours. Um, so, yeah, those times, if it was a passive D, that's when I hit the ball a bit harder and really try and it's called turn the corner or turn the corner, I guess. But I'd, I'd back myself, as you said, if the, the half was checking and releasing, I'd back myself to take him on if the, and I'd just sort of see what the centre was doing, yep. keep the ball out. And if he turns out, turns his shoulders out, well, I'm just going to show and go. If he turns in, I, I'm hitting short along. So, um, yeah, that's – I used to enjoy those defensive structures a bit more <laughs> than the, the up and in. Because, you, yeah, you need to change your tempo. I, yep. I obviously wouldn't hit the ball as quick. I'd yep. you nearly sometimes don't even come onto the ball. You just rely on them to create the space for you if you yep. back your skill. I think that's a great lesson for, for young halves who are listening that you don't always need to go at 100 miles an hour. Um, the good ones obviously understand, you know, when to go quick, when to go slow. 